Hey, how you doing? Tonight, we're gonna make some chicken. First thing you want when you're making chicken is you want a nice cooking sheet. And then you want to put a nice layer of foil on top of that. See how it's a nice layer of foil, nice and flat? That's what you want, just like that. Then you want to take your chicken. That's a lot of chicken, we're gonna make a lot. I'm gonna eat a lot of chicken. You gotta find out what kind of seasonings you want your chicken to be to have. So we're gonna we're gonna look up on our seasoning cabinet, which is abundant. There's an abundance of, of seasonings, abundance of seasonings in our cabinet. And as you see, there's an abundance of seasonings in our cabinet, and we're gonna we're gonna choose the best ones to season our chicken with. Let's start with a little bit of garlic powder. You can't have too much garlic powder. It's real good for you. And then you gotta have a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper. It gives it a little kick. And then you want a little ha jalapeno seasoning. Gives it a little kick. And then you want a little bit of this chicken seasoning. It, it gives it a real zing. And and then you want um, and then you you don't want mint because that's gonna taste like toothpaste. But then maybe 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 you want a little bit of the all-purpose seasoning, and th that'll that'll give it some good flavor. Take your chicken out of the packet. You know, you're probably supposed to do something like rinse these off or de skid or anything like that, but the wife's gone, so you know, do whatever you want. You take the chickens and you drum them like this, and then you gotta put them in the barbecue sauce and the seasoning. That's right, immerse them as best you can. Put them right down in there. Don't be shy. These ingredients are already paid for. <clears throat> well, that's more chicken than I thought it was gonna be. So go ahead and get your hands dirty a little bit. Gotta mix that around a little bit. Good make sure that you evenly distribute the barbecue sauce and the seasoning among as many of the drumsticks as you possibly can. It's called pearl pluralism. Get a good mix in there, that's right. Uh, can we get this camera over here so you can see? Yeah, go ahead. Get that good and mix mix that up properly. Look at that. I had just, my, just enough barbecue sauce to fulfill my needs in this instance. So look at that, bunch of barbecue sauce all over those chickens. This is gonna be a great, it'll give me a great late dinner. It's almost nine o'clock at night and I'm home alone. And before you just go ahead and drop that chicken right there on that piece of aluminum foil, you gotta put some kind of an oil down or you're gonna have all kinds of sticky problems. Also, be sure you put your seasonings away or when your wife gets home on Sunday, she's gonna throw a conniption or go and have a conniption or something. She'll be mad. She'll be mad for sure. Close that up. It's like you were never even here. I guess we all we have is this Pam. That's fine, good enough for me. Go ahead and lay that on there and spread it on real good like that. Get a good layer on there if you want to. I'll be quiet! Take your chicken, go ahead and dump it out. Oh, look at all that chicken. Got some leftover sauce too. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all that sauce. We're gonna do this. Spread that around a little bit. There you go. Spread all that around just like so. Yeah, it looks like a car accident. Why not? Go ahead and dump that on top there a little bit. Oh my gosh. I should probably be using some kind of a sterile glove, but since I'm the one eating it, I don't really care that much. And you're probably asking, Pat, you know, is this gonna go on the grill? Is this gonna go in the oven? Guess what? It's going in the oven. 
and you're gonna put it in there for this amount of time. Here we go. You're gonna put it in there for this amount of time and this temperature. Good temperature to cook chicken at is about 410 degrees. Let's do that. Let that, let that guy preheat, and then when it's ready to go, you can throw your chicken in. The oven's hot before we put it. Quiet! The oven's hot before we put our chicken in the oven. Let's add our last secret, not secret now ingredient. Honey, we stole it from the bees. Go ahead and put a good little. It takes its time. Pull line right on top of each of the chicken legs. Quiet Ali, I'm working. Okay, now put it in the oven. That's it. Set it in there for about 35 minutes. Use the timer or just look at the clock. Here's a dog. God helps those who helps themselves, man. It's so cold. I was gonna make some kind of a vegetable, but uh, my wife isn't here to remind me to eat the vegetables, so I'm just eating a bunch of protein. So as it turns out, I kind of way undershot the time he's had to go in, but it's okay because we have a little, little, little trick we call in the cooking show industry called flip them and drip them. Out of the way, Ali, move. Take this little guy here like this and go like this. Get some of that seasoning right back on top from the back. Okay, I actually made up flip them and drip them, but I, I just thought they needed to go in for a little bit longer and flipping them always helps. So, let's put them in like 15, 20. I don't know, man, I'm not gonna tell you, you guys gotta add up the time at the end on your end, because I'm just gonna say it, probably like, probably went in there for like six hours. I think it's giving turkey or something. Now we play the waiting game. It's got a really good taste. Thanks for watching.